and they got on a plane and went to Portugal. She refused to let the terrorists win. Today, we refuse to let anybody who's trying to harm us control our lives because that means they win. We're not going to let them win. This steel, here, this steel here represents courage, represents thousands of heroes. People call the first responder heroes, but I can tell you this. I saw a lot of moms and dads and brothers and sisters who weren't wearing uniform being as heroic as all the first responders that day. And that's in every one of you. There's a famous uh, quote by Edmund Burke, a British philosopher, uh, philosopher. All that evil needs to triumph is for good men to stand by and do nothing. Well, guys, I'm going to tell you right here, right now, every single day there's evil. There's more good men and women that's standing up to it. That's why we live in this country. That's why we're the greatest country on earth. Don't ever forget that. And I'm going to leave you off on this, kids. Remember, faith, hope, and love, those three things. So if you're lucky to live till 90 years old, right, there's 365 days in a year, right? I'm going to let you guys do the math. You do the math later. You take 365 multiplied by 90. Part of that time, we're in diapers. And if you're lucky to get to 90, you might be in diapers again. <laughs> so listen to me. Take that number, multiply it. That's how many days, if you live till 90, how many days you have on this earth? I promise you, it's not a lot. You guys are our future. You guys here could very well have someone sitting here who one day will be the President of the United States, cure cancer, but most importantly, grow up to be good Americans, good human beings, be good parents to teach our future children to be good. You guys are our future. That's why I'm honored really to be here today because I'm getting to talk to you guys, my heroes, the people who are gonna lead our nation, lead our world. Don't ever forget that. So when you look at this steel beam every time you come by here, remember what that symbolizes. That symbolizes bravery, symbolizes courage, and symbolizes that evil will not triumph. It didn't triumph on September 11th. It has not triumphed in all the mass shootings we've had because we come together and we will not allow evil to dictate our lives or be victorious over us. Remember that. On that note, I want to thank everybody here for taking the time to listen to my story. I hope that somehow, some way, it helps you in your future. The day that you feel you can't overcome something, think about that guy that came to talk and say, listen, if he made it, why can't I? You can't see because I have my uh, pants on, but my leg looks like a great white shark bit in. I mean, I wear a brace because my nerves were severed. I actually have a hole in my leg that I can put my finger in. I guess the terrorists must have known I'm from Jersey and I keep my quarters in there for the tolls. <laughs> but I won't allow them to win. And remember this, there is more good than bad in this world. If you tune into the news, you will think the end of the world is coming. I promise you, if they started showing all the good news in the world, they'd be out of business. Don't believe the hype. And most importantly, be kind to each other. Today, tomorrow, forever. We all make some mistakes as a kid. Sometimes we're a little bit of bullies. Don't be a bully. Remember, treat people the way you want to be treated. No matter what skin color you are, what religion you believe in, who you love, treat people with respect and the way you want to be treated to. And don't forget the true heroes in your lives, your first responders, your teachers. And if you guys want to see somebody smile today, when you go home, walk up to your mother, your father, or whoever those that are raising you and give them a big hug and say, th thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for taking care of me. And watch a smile come on that person's face. You have the power to make people's lives better every single day. Don't forget that. You could be mean and destroy somebody's life, or you can smile and give love and change somebody in a positive way. And that's our job, every single one of us. I want to thank the mayor, I want to thank the council, I want to thank the first responders, I want to thank our veterans who have fought for this country. And remember something, kids, that American flag, that is not made out of cloth. That is made out of the blood of patriots, many of which are your family members who have fought for our freedoms. And remember, you live in the greatest country on earth because people put their lives on the line for freedom. God bless you guys. God bless everyone we lost on September 11th. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you.